Howdy fellow wood gas addicts. In my ongoing quest to make fuel for my hungry gasifier, I come up with a system based around a saw bench. I call it the Fairly Fast Fuel Finger Fabrication Facility. <laughs> its purpose is to produce these fuel fingers. And of course, uh, those fuel fingers are cut so as they'll fit nicely into the Lopomatic 9000 that you saw in a previous video. The Lopomatic 9000 produces what I call gasoline granules, which fit nicely in my little gasifier. The source material for this comes from what I call benzene bars. Those, in turn, are cut from what I call power pellets. I hope all power labs doesn't mind my borrowing their name. Using the skill saw, I cut a whole bunch of these to produce the benzene bars, and I'm left with what I call beaks and claws, which of course burn very nicely so they can be my winter heating in the fireplace. The benzene bars I slipped into this little fuel chute here and they sit over this blade. When the slide is pushed backwards, you can see the benzene bar will drop into place against the backstop, so the blade is now able to cut it. We'll start it up. It's going to be noisy and messy, but here we go. In practice, this guard lives over here. When in place, it makes the blade almost impossible for you to touch. You have to be very determined to get a finger against it. I'll pause out and attach that guard, then come back. Okay, with the guard in place, it's very difficult to gain accidental access to this blade. It means that you can be pretty careless while operating it. And of course one of the other advantages is you don't need to bother with eye protection because there's virtually no throw out. Before I put this in, these fuel fingers would go flying in all directions except down into that bucket. <laughs> now, problem's gone. What's inside this thing? Up here we've got a power switch, start and run. Uh, because this is being powered by a 2 kilowatt inverter, powered by the house battery system, it often causes the inverter to shut down. So at the moment I hit the start switch, you see a lamp in here come on. That's working as a soft start. So uh, when you hit start, then hit run, you get a gentle start. What's in this box other than that? Well, just a skill saw like the one that cuts the wood um, out of the power pellets. It's set upside down in a box. The power switch is locked on with a couple of cable ties and the switching is brought out here instead. The real magic though happens here. This started out as just a simple saw bench in a box, which I at the time I made this thing, I called it the Wood Slicer 9000. But uh, it wasn't really satisfactory for cutting these fuel fingers. I found that as I tried to use this manually, it would send pieces flying all over the place and I couldn't get the fuel fingers to be all the same, so a lot of them wouldn't fit in here. So I came up with this idea of a backstop. And that worked all by itself, but then I found that, well, there were still things flying all over the place. So I came up with the idea of using a slide and this little magazine system here. And that all works like a charm. It's got a clear window so you can see whether the fuel is hanging up on the way down or anything like that. A clear window here so you can see how the fuel is coming out. And how about we just power this little puppy up eh, and uh, run a bit of gasoline out of it.
Howdy folks. Further development work is taking place on the fairly fast fuel finger fabrication facility. It's a labour intensive sort of process at the moment and I'd really like to automate it as far as possible. That's stated, it does not take long to fill up a garbage pail with these little guys. What I'm attempting to do now is make this at least semi-automatic. To achieve that I've put a stepper motor here together with a rack and a pinion. So the machine can still be operated manually or it can be operated by some electronics. This bit of electronics here is something that I made up years ago when developing my CNC machine which made these parts and a great many others. When powered up, you can see what this thing's meant to do. We have a pendant here that controls the electronics which makes the motor work. So, when we select an axis, and we rotate the jog dial, you can see the axis moving. Or if I set it up so as it's delivering pulses on a constant basis, we get movement. Now, the idea of that is just to make it as automatic as possible. Um, at the moment the electronics is kind of big and unwieldy, but the plan is to build a little computer into this little box and place it here. Now, perhaps there's room inside here to put some other systems so as it detects the position of the slide and regulates the direction and speed. It's the kind of idea I've got in mind is to proceed fairly slowly while cutting and then retract quickly. And then sort of like that to save a bit of time. So that's uh, how that works. What I'll do now is um, set the camera up and catch a few moments of video of this in operation. Bear in mind, of course, the operation is only semi-automatic because I'm going to be working it with this. But you'll see what I mean when you see it working. Anyway folks, I'm hoping that um, my ramble has produced some interesting discoveries and findings as um, this is a work in progress and it's a great little old habit and hobby to which I have to admit I've become seriously addicted. Help me! Anyway fellas, cheers!